So let's talk a little bit about the difference between storage virtualization and st software defined storage. So here we're drawing out just multiple storage and configurations within your environment. Storage virtualization really pools that data and presents it as centralized storage, where software defined really looks at the application, has a predefined set of process and policy and provisions of storage accordingly. So let's go over that in a little more detail. It's multiple storage. So let's say that you have an environment that has multiple storage within it, right? It could be SAN, NAS, DAS, right? Of course, SAN being storage area network, NAS being network attached storage, DAS being direct attached storage. But let's say that we're pooling all of that together. Represented as storage virtualization means that I'm going to take all of that, put some sort of logical front end on it, and present it as a single centralized storage. Now, from the centralized storage, that means that the presentation to your applications is, you know, for example, disk X has, you know, 25 terabytes of storage capacity. Well, disk X is made up of pools of data. And for you and the application, it does not matter where drive X or disk X gets its storage. You just know that that storage is available. That's taking from pools of data and presenting it as centralized storage, storage virtualization. Now let's shift gears a little bit and go into software defined storage. Software defined storage is a little bit different in the sense that the application based on policy and process that's been defined, workflow automation, right? The application says I need X amount of storage, storage provisioning, or excuse me, software defined storage, then provisions the required storage for that application. Now, the nice thing about software defined storage is if that application has ebbs and flows, right? It increases and decreases in its requirement for storage through policy, software, and automation. I can then pull back that, that storage that's been provisioned for that application and make it available to my other applications. Both of these technologies, storage virtualization and storage defined, excuse me, software defined storage, both of them are great technologies to implement when you're trying to, to get more utilization from your existing storage infrastructure. Now, of course, we're not talking about it as much in this, in this uh, video, but make sure that that storage, when you start defining this storage architecture, is capable of holding both file, block, and object storage, as well as has a good story for direct attached storage. Because as our needs change, and we can see this today with the needs related to, for example, data analytics, which really prefers uh, direct attached storage in many instances, compared to 10 years ago, where we were really moving away from direct attached storage to storage area networks. And of course, now, of course, transactional databases really want to see that high performance within a storage area network. And so there's lots of different needs within our environment that dictate the type of storage. The key takeaway, stay flexible. Use storage virtualization and software defined storage as you move up the stack and move into the future and you will utilize more of your storage.